to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host Shaheen. Uh, Federal Reserve is uh, about to announce its interest rate decision and we have about an hour and a uh, half left to uh, for the decision. So um, I wanted to bring my analysis in the meantime and see where exactly the larger trend we're expecting in gold, silver and uh, in the stock market. And uh, we'll start from over here and uh, I'll try to uh, take some time and uh, at least do a 10 minute video and we'll try to see how much we can get in. I'm uh, main, mainly going to discuss gold, silver and stock market, especially US indices. So first of all, we have gold. We can definitely see that we have some sort of uh, break is occurring right around over here. We have seen a double bottom right over here. And I was told you guys that I was uh, bullish on gold and that's what we are looking at right now. So uh, on, the, on the medium time frame, uh, next two to three months or four months, um, we are expecting for gold to go to 1880. How it is going to go to, uh, over there, uh, that's what we are trying to look at right now. I think the immediate resistance that we have here is probably a double top that could possibly be forming um, right around over here. So this double top is, is really solid. Uh, that will bring uh, us to right, when prices move right all the way over here, that will bring us to possibility that this hole could be a correction and then prices could make a final bottom and then go up. Or this also is a possibility that price, this is actually a bottom and then we have seen this price not going beyond this low. Uh, that would actually mean that we are expecting for the prices to go up and create a correctional pattern right on the top of the previous top. So both cases are indicating that we are expecting for the prices to go up. Uh, we are definitely can see, uh, we have seen an impulsive move and a corrective move. And this is similarly going on on a smaller time frame. We have seen an impulsive move on a 15 minute chart and impulsive and corrective move. So above all, it looks pretty good. I think the accumulation pattern has completed on a larger time frame on a we can say on a hourly time frame or four hourly time frame and then we are expecting for the prices to at least shoot up to create a top with this one and then we'll see how the prices react after that as i said the larger time frame we are expecting for the prices to go uh, to 1880 in gold and silver uh, we have seen quite a good positive motion in uh, in stock market i was bullish on stock market and we have seen quite a good uh, price indication in that regard so we'll look at it into a bit in a bit uh, let's see how how silver doing right so uh, once again we have couple of things right over here we can definitely see an impulsive and corrective uh, or corrected under over here we have another impulsive and corrective and we are kind of looking it looks like that it, we are right now probably looking for an extension wave right over here okay the um, next immediate target once again brings us to 2123 which is double top with this one I think a smaller time frame correction is this is impulsive wave is 15 minute chart and a 15 minute correction chart a uh, 15 minute time frame correction is uh, probably going to complete right over here and then we're expecting for the prices to go up and then I remain bullish on gold and silver but I think the next immediate target is an important one and then uh, how the prices react over the year is going to work out uh, whether we are going to create a correction and continue or whether we actually can go create a double top and come down and create a, a structure like this one as well right over here but for now we can see that clearly we have seen impulsive and corrective and impulsive and a corrective and impulsive and a corrective on a 15 minute chart and on four hourly chart as well so it's looking pretty good the angle that's actually drawn from the top for this one is already broken we can see it's pretty good and we can definitely draw an angle from this bottom for this bottom and then we can connect them and we are right now waiting for the prices to go or create double top with silver. I haven't seen GDX so we'll quickly look at GDX and see how the prices are doing. So prices are doing really great on GDX as well. We can see that we have definitely created a bottom right over here. Prices went up and created a higher low right kind of. So it kind of gives you guys a reverse head and shoulder pattern. All right. So we are right around head and shoulder pattern and the prices have reacted really good and now we are also seen a pullback. Let me delete this. So right from the top, nearly close to the top, we have seen a pullback and we can see from this bottom that we have an impulsive and corrective, an impulsive and a corrective. So we are definitely looking for the prices to go up right over here. This is our first target and the next target is right over here, 29.75 for GDX. That means that gold and silver um, uh, minerals, not only themselves, but 
the uh, industrials are also doing really good for gold and silver as well so now we'll have a quick look on the um, uh, stock market and see how much we can cover we'll start with the US market and we'll see how it goes I have seen NASDAQ and some patterns are really interesting so NASDAQ pattern is very very interesting I'm not sure whether you guys are following the pattern uh, from this bottom we were expecting for the prices to go up and we definitely have seen that now NASDAQ is not as strong as Dow Jones as well we will look at Dow Jones as well both Dow Jones made a very good uh, pull back in terms of correction and it went all the way up for right now we have uh, Dow Jones in front of us so first of all we can definitely see that I, th I think that we are gonna stay in this range for a while okay and this is the same thing I'm seeing in uh, in all three indices as well so we can see that we have kind of completed uh, a structure that ended over here and from this top we have completing a structure it could that be possible that we can come down right over here to complete the structure there is a possibility definitely uh, a lot of volatility is expected we can say this and then we are expecting uh, for the prices to go up right over here and then I think that we shall actually see some resistance but at least prices are right over here and then we are expecting for the prices to do this this is also possibility that prices can actually cross this area and then we can definitely see prices to go up right over here both cases we are expecting for the prices to go on the bullish side and then once if it goes bullish we can definitely see a structure an A, a B and a C either that's going to happen or either we are going to see an A and then we are going to see a B right over here and then we are going to see B ended right over here and C ending right over here so uh, let me draw the structure what I'm expecting up and down structure we are expecting a double three structure at this moment which means the if the price is actually sees if the price actually sees the resistance right over here we're gonna see a flat correction and then price is going coming down if the price is actually do not see a resistance right over here and the structure is a zigzag structure all the way to the top then we are expecting the for the prices to come down right over here and create a support in this row so pretty interesting structure we are expecting a double three structure from right over here uh, this is what I'm expecting in NASDAQ and Dojon has shown a very interesting spike that we have seen let me have a look and right over here okay fifteen minute chart is better I think uh, we are gonna see some because Dow Jones went up quite a bit right so we can see that the structure that actually started from over here is yet not complete couple of things can happen we are l looking for and then a a B and a C or we can see that the top occurred right over here and then you're looking for an A a B and a C further down price movement is expected in either case I'm not expecting that we are going to see prices all the way over here I'm expecting some sideways price movement because we have seen a lot of sharper price movement going up in Dow Jones especially when we are looking at a daily time frame then you guys will have some idea so we have seen very nice price movement and um, I'm not sure if some of you guys actually remember I did this price call I did this call uh, that we are expecting a bullish move gold and silver did not move as much as we were expecting but Dow Jones uh, have definitely moved we have seen price behavior in forex market as well so I think we have moved quite a far in Dow Jones as well so I'm expecting a double three kind of structure so I'm expecting solid uh, structure for that will time a good uh, that will spend a good time in here could that we come down all the way over here as well that definitely a a possibility once again we are looking for this top and then we are looking for coin prices up and down uh, once we have seen let's say do two or three tops and then there is a possibility that we can actually come down but we right now need some sort of price movement on the top uh, basically a distribution pattern before we actually can come down and I'm not expecting for it this to continue in next few days at least S&P 500 is actually showing a clearer picture as compared to uh, Dow Jones especially in terms of structures we are definitely seeing some structure right over here so once again we have very interesting price movement that went all the way up and then here is the possibility okay let me lay over with the with this one with the uh, Dow Jones and I think we'll have some uh, better so we are expecting this in the uh, S&P 500 
So I'm considering this as an A, a B, and a C, and I'm expecting prices would go up, come down, and go up, and then it will fall a bit in something like this. The second structure that we can expect right now is that instead of B being a flat correction, we can actually see uh, uh, something like this. We can actually see a zigzag being formed in wave B, and then we can actually see prices to do something like this right over here. So both things are possible. I'll draw the second structure on top of it in case uh, you have missed it. So we're going to expect for the prices to come down, and then we can go up right over here. If uh, we see a resistance in this area, that means we are expecting to see a flat correction in wave B, something like this. And in that case, we were expecting for the prices to come a little more lower because we would have solid resistance in that case. So this is what is expected in S&P 500. A similar structure is expected in Dow Jones. When did this happen? Let me show. It's on October 22nd. Now we can go back on Dow Jones and we can probably do some bit better labeling. October. So this is what it is. So we can see this is an A, a B, and there's a possibility that we can actually see uh, for the prices to come down right over here. Even though, let's say, it's not an ABC, let's say this is not an A and this is not an B because this looks pretty ugly. In that case, we can see that the top was over here. So we have an A, a B, and a C before we can actually go up right over here. So the immediate price action that we are seeing is going to be sharper price moving downward and then we are expecting for the prices to go jump up over here. And this will create a range and that's what I am expecting that this prices will stay in range in Dow Jones. So this is, uh, let's have a look at uh, FTSE, quick look at uh, FTSE and uh, we can see that FTSE is, uh, what's happening? Okay. So I'm expecting, we can see that definitely strength that we're expecting in FTSE has come and we are to see some sideward price actions in FTSE. So FTSE has the same price behavior that we're expecting in Dow Jones. We're expecting that we are going to see some correctional price behavior. Once we do see two or three tops, we are expecting for the prices to drop. Nifty, we were uh, all right because we were expecting Nifty to go down on the bear side. Instead, what we have seen is this behavior. Okay. So I still expect that we are still within the pattern, um, and then in this case, we can say that an A, a B, and a C structure. Alright, this is still a possibility. Or we can say that we have an A, a B, and a C structure. This is more reasonable. That means we have reached the resistance. We are expecting for Nifty to be bearish. Alright, so I would call for Nifty. We are expecting for Nifty to continue on the bearish side. Did not go well. Let's have a look how things are going on DAX. This is exactly the we were expecting for DAX to be um, on the stronger side and then we have seen DAX to be on the stronger side. So what does that mean? It has gone up for a quite a while. We are seeing the resistance coming right over here and we can see that we are kind of seeing that the DAX and FTSE are moving together with US indices for now at least. So that means we are expected to see side wave behavior in DAX as well. So I'm, I'm expecting for DAX to continue on the side wave behavior. Once again, the similar structure is expected that we are seeing in S&P 500, Dow Jones, and NASDAQ. Let's have a quick look at US dollar and see how things are running in US dollar. And uh, before we go on, on uh, <laughs> I want to see how this structure is going to unravel is a little uh, I can't say at this point all right so because we have expecting gold to be on the bullish side 
does that mean that we'll see some stronger price movement on the downside and go up and then come down all right but I'm expecting that the, we are seeing this structure right over here an A a B and a C that will complete a flat correction a similar behavior expecting that we are seeing in euro as well we can see that we have an A a B and a C structure right over here so on a smaller time frame as of today because we have come down quite a bit so does that mean that we have started some sort of correction from over here or over here it's more likely that we are going to see some uh, bullish price action on a smaller time frame that means in maybe it will take a couple of days to complete that some we definitely can see some deeper price movement before we actually start falling down this is also giving us a hint that we are expecting uh, for what we, are, uh, what we are to expect in gold okay and then I'll go back to gold chart and let's have a look at British pound so before we can actually see I think I need to correct that a bit we can see a deeper price action from over here uh, and then we can see definitely see something right over here this is British pound and euro and let's have a quick look at the DX itself okay yeah we can definitely see prices to do some stronger movement on a smaller time frame and then compute the structure right over here that actually started alright so we can say an A completed a B completed and we're looking for a 5 wave structure so we have a sm smaller wave 1 completed probably and we are right now going through smaller wave 2 and then we have 3 4 and 5 that will be completing right over here so we'll be completing a wave A a wave B and wave C structure a three wave structure, a three wave structure, and a five wave structure. Within five wave structure, we have completed wave one and two is on its way, and then we'll have three, four, and five. That's also giving us clue for gold right now. That means that we are to expect gold to create a top down movement. Okay, that also is possible that we are to expect for gold to go over in this way and then come down. So we have two things right now could that be possible that will gold would go right over here and turn I think gold has yet to make the larger movement if you look at the chart because we have seen euro on its way quite a bit and we have seen British pound and US dollar itself coined way on its way to completing the structure that means the largest structure that we're looking for in gold is this one so we are looking for a larger structure to be completed this month and this also is highly likely that we are to see a price movement coming down as well okay that will mean a new low is possible in gold as well before we actually can go upward so right now the immediate resistance that we are looking for gold is so somewhere in this range right over here which is 1727 I hope that I was able to provide some assistance wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye